Hello everyone, welcome back to 7th grade math and today we're going to be learning how to write equations for proportional relationships from tables. So the question asks us, Edward is making a special lunch, a special punch for a starry night homecoming dance. There is a proportional relationship between the number of cans of peach dupe concentrate in the punch bowl X and the corresponding number of bottles in the lemon lime soda, which is Y. So we have a table given right here, and we're asked, write an equation for the relationship between x and y. Simplify any fractions. An easy way to do this is to write these numbers in the graph or the table as ratios. We can write it as 2 to 6, and I'm just going to do the first two ratios, or first two fractions, you can say. And typically how you solve this is basically try and find, use the ratios that are already there to find what y is. Since we're trying to find what y is, we need to find out how to go from 2 to 6 to 1 to question mark. And I'm just going to write question mark. This is what we're supposed to find, which is y right here. Let's use a different color. So now we have 2 and... 2 to 1, right? Well, not 2 to 1. 2 to 6 and 1 to question mark. We can write these as fractions. That's one way we can do it. Or we can just go straight ahead. Since these numbers aren't that hard, an easy way to do it is we have to find the relationship between these two numbers first. To get to 2 to 1, you have to do 2 divided by 2. So we basically need to do divided by 2. Now, the same way as one side, I know this doesn't look like a divided by symbol, um, the same thing we have to do on this side to get what the question mark is. So let's do 6 divided by 2. Now, what is 6 divided by 2? Um, if you know your multiplication table, this is pretty simple. 6 divided by 3 is 3. So our answer here would be 3. But that's not it. Now, once we have the 3, let's say that y does equal to 3. But technically, y doesn't equal to 3, does it? Because we're only using 3 to multiply by x to get y. So in the case, this case, we're trying to do 3 times x, which is, I'm going to write it like this, equals to y. Now, how can we kind of show this right here to in this case multiplication you don't have to actually write the multiplication symbol because the multiplication symbol that you use on the computer is only known as the asterisk but in this case what you can do is you can combine the two numbers say 3x equals to y because in this case, we have 2 to 6, right? Now, as we have 2 to 6, 2 equals to x, so 2 times 3 equals 6. And that makes sense, because our ratio here is 2 to 6, or we can say our fraction here is 2 to 6. So let's check our answer by writing 2, I mean 3x, and it's correct. Let's do one more. Maddie is hooked on a new book series called The Galaxy. Each book in the series is the same length and chronicles a different year in the Waka Waka a galaxy. Maddie has cleared off the top shelf of her bookcase to leave room for each of the books as they come out. There is a proportional relationship between the number of books on the shelf, which is X, and how much shelf space is the books take up, which is Y. So, in this case, we have 2 to 2. Now, let's write them as fractions this time. I'm going to use a different color. to use orange. Oh, wow. So, we have 2 to 2, and this time you can write fractions as ratios, so I'm just going to write them as ratios. So, you have 2 to 2, and that equals to 3 to 3, and so on with all of the numbers in the, in the table right here. And if you simplify these, it makes sense because 2 over 2 equals to 1 and 3 over 3 equals to 1. So that makes sense. Now, this is a different kind of case than the original question because we, we can see that actually x 
equals to y. Because 2 and 2 are the same, 3 and 3 are the same, and 7 and 7 are the same, and so on. Every single number in the graph, at least x and y, they're the same. They're equal. So as they're equal, we can say that we, we already technically wrote our equation right here. Y does equal to X because in all of these cases, Y equals to X. Since we're trying to find Y here, if we have our X as 2, we know that our Y equals to 2, or we can write it as a ratio and say 2 to 2, or 2 equals to 2, or we can do 2 over 2 as a fraction. But all these sa things say the same thing because Y equals to X. So let's check our answer and it's correct so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something new from this video and i hope i got i uh, hope i helped you understand this topic um please make sure to put any questions comments ideas for new videos down below in the comment section subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you all next time have a great day bye